And that is the Kraken boss 500 times. We're now at 32,360 points. All right, 563 out of 750 Krakens killed. I'm going to stop AFK and I'm being a piece of shit now. I'm going to go get a Dagonos task and go do DKs for the first time. And let's assign ourselves Dagonos 165. That's perfect. Oh shit, I haven't even unlocked DKs, bro. I hate that I still have to unlock stuff. Oh my god, I just got an Arches Ring KC1. No way, dude. No way. Okay, that's 50 points for getting an Arches Ring right there and there. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Defeat the Dagonoth Kings without leaving is 50 points as well. And I just got an Arches Ring too. Uh, Arches Ring and Earth Battle Staff. I did just get an Arches Ring too, which I'm now wearing. Earth Battle Staff, I'm not sure. I think I've already got the points for that, but I'll pick it up regardless. Oh my god, I just got the pet! I just got the DK's pet! That's 125 leak points! And I got Rune Light Limbs, which means I can make a Rune Crossbow, dude. Coming to DK's was the best decision of my life. What? 125 leak points. DK's pet. Nice. That's my sixth pet. Oh, shit. 14 KC Dragon Axe. That gives us access to the Infernal Axe task as well, but we're in a Dragon Axe itself. Surely is a... Oh, maybe I have to use a special attack. It didn't give me a task right then. Maybe I just have to use a special attack. Because I'm pretty sure there is a task for a Dragon Axe. Okay, let's see if I can just use the Dragon Axe special attack just like that. Yep, 50 league points for using the special attack of a Dragon Battle Axe. Cool. Use the Smoldering Stone on the Dragon Axe. I think that's how you do it. Um, proceed with the Infusion. Yep, Infernal Axe now, and that's 125 league points for wearing one of those. 32,760. Damn, I just got a Dupe Archer's Ring, 19kc. And another Dragon Axe at 20kc. Don't get any more points for that, obviously. Slay all day. I don't know what that is. Still no Thrall's Damage Fragment, unfortunately. That's what I really want. Uh, what does Slay all day do? Slay all day heals one hit point for every monster killed as part of a Slayer task. Cool, I guess. I'm not going to really be using it, though. Please be Thrall's Damage. Please be Thrall's Damage. Please be Thrall's Damage. Special Discount. Okay, that helps out, too. Okay, all right. That will be good for Tall, but it means I can bring, like, more BGSs and stuff. But I still really want Thrall's damage, man. Damn, I just got my another Dragon Axe. I think that's my third Dragon Axe, 32 kill count on the Prime. Dragon Axe. Where's my fucking rings at, bro? Alright, I just got a Rock Shell play. I'm not sure if there's any actual task to go full Rock Shell or anything, but I'll pick it up. Yo, I got a Mud Battle Staff. I think that's a task. Please, unless I've already done something. Mud Battle Staff? Yes, that's a 50 League Points task right there. Thank you, DKs. My boys. 32, 8, 10 now. Alright, and this is my Slayer toss done, so I'm gonna have to get a new one, which is fine, won't take too much effort at all, but we've done like 50 to 60 KC at every single, uh, Dagonoth. Only got the Arches Ring so far. Pretty sure we're over the drop rate, but, I mean, it is what it is. It's still free points. Skeletal Bottoms and a Fragment, same fucking drop. What do we get? Thralls? Thrall damage, finally, dude! We have finally gotten Thrall damage. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, I'm so happy with that. Another Mud Battle Staff, 58 KC on the Prime, we're on 64 on Supreme, and like 60 and 70 on Rex, maybe? Still no B-Ring. Another Dragon Axe as well, bro. Oh, 57 on this. Ooh, another Combat Fragment. Please upgrade my Thralls or something. Yes, 500 out of 8,000. Let's go. I should probably bring it here, to be honest, but yeah. Ho ho ho, another Dragon Axe, dude. From Rex. I'm getting trolled. Okay, I've just got an Arches Ring. My third Arches Ring, bro. Come on, come on. Just hook it up, bro. Give me a fucking Sears Ring. Give me a B-Ring. I want to become the Lord of the Rings. Sears Ring, that, okay, all you gotta do is beg, all you gotta do is beg, Sears Ring run right after, let's go. Another 50 points off that, now we just need the B Ring off, uh, what's this guy, Rex. Warrior's Ring, alright, okay, we'll take that, that's another 50 points, we want the B Ring now, that's all we're hunting, I think. 32, 9, 10. Another Dragon Axe right after it, too. Got some Spine Chaps, I think we need those, actually. Another Dragon Axe, uh, what did I even get that around from Supreme? Another Dragon Axe, I think that's right after the one we just got. And that is my fourth Archer's Ring, 92 kill count. Oh, and let's go Berserker Ring with the kill after. Let's go equip a Berserker Ring, equip every Dagonoth King Ring. 175 League Points right there. 33,085 points. Now, I think we're going to leave here. There are some tasks for like other shit, like the armor, I think, like the Seer Cull, the Leaf Blade of Battle Axe, Skeletal Spine, and Rock Shell Armor. But I don't want to camp here forever to get that stuff. I don't know how long it'll take. I just really wanted the rings, and that's a nice bunch of points right there. Over 33,000 for the first time. Nice. We're on about like 92 to 82 kill count on everything as well. All right, let's put 1.95 mil in here. I wish I knew about this thing before I spent an hour doing Soul Wars for, or two hours doing Soul Wars for my Slayer Helm. But imbued Berserker Ring, imbued Seer's Ring, not a Warrior's Ring, imbued Archer's Ring. Nice. We got the Lord of the Rings going. All right, I'm going to go train some runecrafting in the hopes that I get a relic that I want for Demonics. And I just got 50 points for converting 2,000 Day Alt Shards into Essence. Cool. 33,135. Rune Escape, bro. Is that the one I needed? Is that the one I needed? Surely. Let's go. 
it was time to move on to Demonics to try and get our Zenites, and I wanted to use a Dragon Defender there. Now the Warrior's Guild has been packed every single world, every single day, 24 hours a day, since the start of the leagues. I wanted to leave it as late as possible, so I finally decided to go. With a pretty good setup, I was just pretty much one-hitting the Cyclopses looking for my Dragon Defender. Alright, I just got my Rune Defender, finally, bro, we can get this fucking Dragon Defender. I got Dragon Defender after like 10 kills, Maz is about to get the 630, life's good, bro. 50 points, 33,185, let's go do Demonics. And this is the method I'm using to kill Demonics. I literally don't even have any prayer pots. I don't care what they're attacking me with. I have Absolute Unit on, so when they do attack me, the damage gets dealt back to them. And I have Unholy Ranger and Unholy Warrior on, so I have 100% accuracy with all my hits, so... Should be very quick kills. My friend Jinami literally just said to me, Sit, I got a Zenite, and then I just got one two kills later. And he's 61, he's 65 crafting. <laughs> he literally just said, Sit, and I just got one. Oh, I just crafted 30 blue dragon head bodies for 50 points. Yo. Shout out to the boy Jake Upton who spammed this door for me. He's an absolute legend. Just got myself 900k Tockle. Absolute beast from the Middle East. And that is 90 crafting with the Unchained Talent, which gives you a plus 8 boost. It does give me up to 98 crafting, which makes all my Zenites for me. Uh, I did a bit of a miscalculation. only bought enough Tockle for three of them, but I only have one Zenite so far anyway. So I'm just going to buy all my Onyxes now that I can buy. And we'll come get the last one where we need to. I'll probably just make an Anguish right now because I am using a Strength Ami at, uh, what's it called? At Gorillas. And then when I get another Zen, I'll make my Torture and then I'll go on like that. Thought I'd just get the Rune Crossbow task out of the way while we're here. Where's a Crossbow String? Uh, there it is. Literally have not worn a Rune Crossbow until this entire point. Shout out to Bofa. Carried me in these dark times. 50 points right there for Fletch and a Rune Crossbow. 50 points for wearing a Rune Crossbow. 33,335. Let's go make this Zen as well. And this is a Zenite necklace. Let's enchant this right away and get another 125 points for equipping a piece of Zenite jewelry. 33,460. Let's go back to the demonics with this. I'm honestly way too lazy to bring a band to the switch, so I'm just doing the strength amulet and the arc light strength ami switch. Camping around 25 HP. That boulder there can max at 10. Actually, I could have got a combat out there. That boulder, boulder can max at 20 through my absolute unit, and this can just max at 15, so I only have to eat around then. Staying low HP lets me hit harder anyway, and I have a fuck ton of crown bonds anyway. Just recall when I'm out of food. Pretty chill method. I'm actually probably going to eat some food while I do this. Let's go. Second Zenite. Two out of four. I'll absolutely take that. We can go make our torture now. All right, let's make another Zenite. Zenite amulet created. Let's enchant that motherfucker and go back to demonics. Two more now, two more. All right, that's huge. We just got the ballista limbs, which is very big for us because there is a 125 point toss to equip a heavy ballista as well. I don't know what else we need, but I think it's like four or five items. Oh, I just got the ballista spring, yo. Let's go, let's go. Tail, bro. I got the monkey tail. I think I only need, uh, I think I need two or three more, pe or two more pieces. I don't even know how you make a ballista. I don't have the frame yet, I think. Okay, I've got the limb, I've got the spring. And I got the tail, so I just need the heavy frame now. Let's go! I just got the heavy frame. I think that's the ballista completed. I'm not too sure. When I go back, I'll go check and see if it is. And if it is, it's another 125 league points. Damn, I just got another ballista spring, but I'm pretty sure I already have that anyway. Is this the ballista created? It is wield. 125 league points, 33,585. Third Zen, I only need one more now. I think that's like almost 300 KC as well. We just need one more. Uh, that will probably be my... What do I need? Tormented bracelet. Let's fucking go! And that is 300 demonics killed. We're pretty much right on the drop rate. We pretty much did just get our third Zenite. 125 league points, putting us at 33,710. Just had to do some quick mathematics there. Pretty, pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't really matter if we go too much drive for the Zenite because there are demonic tasks at 500 kills and like 750 kills. Obviously, probably wouldn't like to be here until 750 or even 500, but it's not the biggest deal if we are. But yeah, just the last one, which we'll probably use for our suffering. And we have the other Zenite shard in our bank right now. Final Zenite, 376 KC. Let's get the hell out of here and make that. Very, very nice. We have all four Zenites now. All right, we need to go get one final Zenite real quick. So I just bought 17.5k Chaos Runes. Might have been an overkill. I'm not too sure. Okay, and let's buy our final Onyx, 260k. There we go. Oh, I just made two. I just made two with that thing. Yeah, let's go. I have two Sufferings now. Let's see if I can get uh, two Tormented Bracelets. Come on, two for two? Oh, there we go. That's nice. So we have two rings of suffering. Basically, there's a relic. I think it's called uh, Encando's Apprentice or some shit. And it basically gives you a chance at uh, creating two of the things. I had it on earlier. I don't know why. Uh, well, I guess I just didn't get the RNG. But wear a ring of suffering, wear a tormented bracelet, and that is 250, 250 league points for equipping all Zenite jewelry. 33,960 points. Damn, receive a Slayer Toss from Turo with Spryo. It was a toss. I didn't even know that. I'm assigning myself spiders right now because I'm going to... Seracnus. 
I interrupt this message to introduce this cute little noob who asked if I was the real dinner in Drainer Bank. Over 50% of you guys watching this video right now aren't subscribed to the channel yet you're still watching and I'm sure we would all hate it if you missed an upload due to you not being subscribed. Check down below real quick that you're subbed as it helps both of us out. Thank you guys so much. Looks like we're a little bit overgeared, but here we go. We're going to Seracnus right now. It's a bunch of tasks and it gives us a bunch of XP. We want to start working towards max in the next couple of days. So doing things like this, which gives us both a lot of league points and resources to max with are really great. Oh fuck, I gotta unlock this guy. Why is this still a thing, bro? I've got 819 right now. Okay, and that is the first Seracnus kill. That should be 50 points if I'm not mistaken. Is it? Yeah, it is. Let's go. We're now at 34,015. Damn, we just jumped over 34k. Damn, that's 10 hard combat achievements done. I don't even know what I just did. Inspect, repellent, and ready to pounce. 10 grabbing me aventos from that too. That is another 50 league points. We're at 34,065 now. Let's go. I literally like five hit this boss. It's pretty sick. Oh, I got a grubby key too. I'm going to have to stack those up. I think there is something, some, some, some sort of... I think there is some sort of task with grubby keys, so yeah, let's stack those up. Okay, so this is the method I'm using for Seracnus. I basically just switched over to the normal spellbook. I was- oh, I got a combat fragment. I gotta go get that. I was gonna use Lunar as an NPC contact, but I can just go to a Slayer Master and do it like that. Um, I basically just recall into my house, getting spec, and then dump on the spec. It's like a 10 second kill. It's very quick. I do want to see what this fragment is, though. Um, let's open it. Slay all day fragments. Yeah. Literally just spec it out, spam click it a little bit. Home telly for spec back. It has like a 10 second respawn timer. So by the time I've teleported back, it pretty much is respawning exactly then. I'm sitting on like 26 HP. I have two out of three absolute unit and it barely hits me. If it does hit me, it just means I hit harder because of my knife's edge. Dead like that. 14 HP, I just telly out. Go get my spec back and repeat. I can get a Seracnus uh, like blade, which is like a 50 point task. And every 25, 50 kills, 100 kills, 75 kills. I don't know. There's a bunch of tasks that comes with Seracnus. And it gives me a bunch of XP too, so that's just what we're going to do. I'm literally sitting 14 HP. Might want to eat after it damages me the next time. But until then... Oh! Okay, well that was close. I just got 3 HP. But you know, it do be what it do be. It's already less than half HP, and it's a very simple process. And that is 25 Seracnus kills for 50 league points. I got a giant egg sack too, which I think is 100 red spiders. That's some really good secondaries. That's the kind of XP I was talking about. And that is 50 Seracnus KC, which is another 50 points. Now we're at 34,165. Okay, and that is 25 million strength XP, 125 league points right there. Puts me up to 34,290, just like that, coming along with the Seracnus task. We're at 65 kills out of 250 now. Let's put our whip on flick, actually, if we want to trade another thing to 25 mil. And this is 75 Seracnus kills, which is, what, another 50 league points? Yeah, I got some egg potatoes, yummy. Uh, 34,340 points. All right, and that is 100 Seracnus kill count. This shit goes so quickly. I have done some things in between... Make some pots here, there. Another grubby key, 50 uh, points just like that. 34, 390. I want to get that blade or whatever the drop is from here. The cudgel, maybe? Bandosian might finally level 3. It's going to be super strong everywhere now. It gives me a much, much, much higher maxer hit. Okay, and this is 200 Seracnus kills right here, which is another hard task. Another 50 points. 34,490. The next one we do is 125 points. That's in 50 more kills. I need to get some more food, man. And that is 25 million defense XP we changed from attack to defense just because I was closer to the 25 mil. And let's be honest, I'm all about that points. 34,650 and getting close to that uh, 35,000 number. Okay, I've completed my task, but there's still three more to kill for the 250 task. I can't be bothered getting a new Slayer task for just three kills, so we'll just do it without it. Okay, and this is 250 Seracnus kills. I'm very, very surprised I didn't get the sword at all. Like, it's a boosted drop rate, obviously. 125 league points, and also this gave me a bunch of herbs and secondaries. And a bunch of crafting XP too, so that's really, really nice. Combat fragment. Oh, my thrall damage got leveled up a little bit, but yeah. We're done with Seracnus for now. Really, really surprised I didn't get the, the drop. Planned this a while back, paid for it so it wouldn't die. Checking the health of a dragon fruit tree in Catherby. Another 125 league points. Very, very close to 35k now. Hard casket, this will be 50 points right there. Oh, gain a unique item and complete a hard casket. Those are two medium toss, 50 points right there. Nice. 34, 940 now. What did I even get out of that clue? I got a rune helm, an armadal plate body. And a Navy Cavalier. Cool. Okay, and that is 100 League Points from completing an Elite Clue and getting a unique item from it. What do we even get? Fury Ornament Kit? Yo! That's sick! That is sick! I'm pretty sure that unlocks another task for us. That's actually really, really sick. I'm really, really happy with that. But that is 100 League Points, putting me over 35,040 points. If we log out and hit the refresh button, we are now rank 4, 40 points over the man solo mission. Competition is heating up very, very nicely. It is a task to wear something with an ornament kit on it. Obviously, I can't put a Fury on a Blood Fury. Uh, just doesn't work, so yeah. 
Over 35,000 points, rank 4 at the moment, and we have some of the best gear in the game to do both Cox and Tob with. I'll be doing a mixture of PVM and skilling from now on as I want the Infernal Max Cape for the points and for the flex. And I need to get some uniques from both raids to have my points fly up even more and to try and get into rank 1 contention. The support from you guys has been amazing, and if you do want to help me with the, more with the YouTube algorithm, all you have to do is like the video, comment down below what you guys thought, and subscribe with notifications on so you never miss a video. It really does help more than you guys think. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching once again. I will see you guys later, aka probably tomorrow.